What's up people, Manet here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making a really delicious eggplant dish. Uh, it is called Bengan Ka Bhartha. Uh, basically for that you need two medium size uh, eggplants. Preferably get the one that is still green, that way they are going to be tender. You need one red onion. You can also use the other white or yellow onion, but I prefer to use red. That way it actually gives a little bit more character. You also need four small, uh, almost plum tomatoes or almost extra ripened tomatoes the first thing you have to do is you have to take the eggplant wash them off and make two slits on the bottom uh, of each and then we're going to be putting that into the oven uh, the reason why we do that is that it does get uh, baked properly and while you can say yes it is like two giant eggplants most of its water that one is going to be going away and we want to roast it uh, either on the coals, if you have a barbecue pit, you can. If you have an oven, you can. If you have a gas range, you can. We want to do that till the time the skin becomes a little bit uh, charred and the eggplant uh, basically loses or becomes more fluffy. I'll show you how it looks like. So let's get started. I've taken the eggplant and I'm going to make two slits right down the middle or one down the middle, one over here. That way any excess juice will come out. One here, one here. And this is going to be going in this way or and we're going to be putting it almost in the middle of the oven and we are also going to be lining the bottom of uh, the oven either with the aluminum foil or with the tray to catch any excess drippings that it might have and what I've done is I've taken uh, heavy duty aluminum foil you can also take regular duty this is what I had shiny side up and you take the aluminum foil just fold it once, make it the size of the cutting board, and then you fold it twice. Once that is done, uh, just crimp it down with your hands. Uh, go to the other side, do the same thing. And all we want is a quarter of an inch uh, high surface. And when you get to the edge like this, just take this and just mold it in. That way it actually becomes a, like a tray. Uh, the reason why I do this is that way I don't have to clean up the mess and I don't have to dirty uh, cooking sheet or a baking tray uh, I can just throw this away uh, preferably toss it in the recycle bin uh, that way you're minimizing your impact on the environment so fold this fold this and again as you can see just make it into a U shape so go right here go right here fold it like this fold it like this and then push it out once that's done, flatten it up and again the shiny signing shire is going to be up that way it radiates more heat uh, down. Uh, just put it in the oven and let's put the eggplants in. Alright, the eggplants are in and I'm going to be roasting them at 465 for about 40 minutes and halfway through we're going to be rotating it. That way both the sides get uh, the roast. Alright, while that is going to be going to be getting the other ingredients ready. We're going to be slicing the onions and we're going to be slicing the tomatoes along with other ingredients and unlike uh, my previous videos we are not going to be dicing them but we're going to be slicing them long ways and this is what i mean by slicing the onions uh, that we are not dicing them all we're doing is going uh, and following the lines and we're giving them about a less than a or about a centimeter worth of uh, cut and we're going to be leaving it uh, like this uh, it actually gives an extra texture to your uh, dish and it makes it extra caramelized uh, in my opinion. That's why I'm using red onions versus white onions because they have a little bit more sweetness to it and they bring out the extra flavor and also extra color to it. Alright, in addition to the onions I've also chopped uh, about a teaspoon uh, of uh, ginger, about a teaspoon of uh, green uh, chilies, thigh green chilies and about a tablespoon of uh, garlic. Basically you want to keep the same proportions for the green chilies and the ginger and slightly higher proportion of the garlic because uh, garlic again has more water it is going to shrink and it's going to give that extra little kick to it. Our ingredients are ready now we're going to be tossing them into a wok with oil. Alright so in our wok we're going to be tossing in two or three small bay leaves make sure the oil is hot along with that we're going to be tossing in a little bit of cumin about a half a teaspoon of cumin and about a half a teaspoon of mustard seeds 
as soon as you start hearing that popping sound, this is when we're going to be tossing in the onions. Onions go in, we mix it up, and it looks like a lot of onions, but it's not. They are going to reduce in size. They are going to be literally shrinking down to quarter of the size they have right now. Because the onions have mostly water, just keep on stirring it. You want to make sure all the spices are mixed. Uh, the cumin, the mustard seeds, the bay leaves, they have uh, a chance to assimilate. Once this happens, just break them apart and cover them so they can start cooking faster. And you want to cook them on high heat. And this has been about two minutes. Now give them a stir, that way they are getting uh, cooked evenly. And as you can see, it has already started to drop in volume. Let them go a little more. At this point, you can cover them up or if you want, you can leave them open. Uh, that way the moisture has a chance to escape. And in the meantime, while this is going, we will get the tomatoes sliced long ways, similar to the onions. Our onions have started to caramelize. Now we're going to be taking two dried uh, red peppers and tossing them in cutting them up and at this point we are also going to be adding our ginger and also our green peppers. Once that goes in cut the heat down to as low as you can and start cooking them because we don't want the red peppers to burn. The heat from the onions itself is going to cook uh, the remaining items. While this is going and regarding the tomatoes that we were cutting, we took the tomato, cut it in the half, we were left with two halves of the tomato. Once that happened we took the tomato and cut it long ways into strips and then started to cut them so they are about this long and that's the end result. That's how you want to cut the tomatoes for uh, this dish. As soon as your ginger has started to change color and you can smell it, that's when you need to put in the garlic and once you put in the garlic again uh, mix it up that way it does get a chance to cook and it takes the raw flavor out of it. Alright halfway through the cooking process uh, as you can see uh, the eggplant have got plum. We're going to be rotating it again and we're going to be getting that cooked. You don't want to forget about these while you're doing the other prep. Also now uh, my garlic has become soft. It has uh, released its aroma. Once that happens this is when we're going to be adding in the dry spices. At this point make sure the heat is low and the dry spices we're going to be adding is amchur powder. I will leave that in the description. Uh, red chili powder, garam masala, salt, haldi, which is turmeric, uh, cumin powder. All of that goes in. Uh, as far as the measurements, put it to taste. I mean, if you're able to handle the heat, kick it up a notch. If you can't, bring it down low. Depending on how you like your food, mix that up. Once you mix that up, we want to give that a little bit of a chance to get roasted in the oils. And as soon as they start bubbling, as soon as it starts bubbling, this is when we're going to be adding about a half a cup or a cup of uh, green peas. Mix it up. Once you mix that up, now is uh, the time you're going to be adding in the tomatoes. And I cannot emphasize this enough. Please do not add any water to it. It might look it burnt. No, it's not. Those uh, spices have coated all the onions and we want the water or the moisture from the tomatoes to seep out. That is going to give the gravy effect. If you add any water at all, it's going to be excessive. And remember, we are also putting in eggplants they also have water so mix that up put the heat down to low as low as, as it can go and cover it up and let it start cooking very slowly all right both the eggplants are done as you can see they have become pretty sensitive or they have deflated quite a bit now we're going to be taking them off and peeling them off i cannot emphasize this enough please be extra careful when you do this because these are going to be boiling hot you don't want to burn yourself get a pair of tongs wear gloves Whatever you do, just be careful and peel them off. And to peel them off, all you need is you need to cut the top off uh, with the tongs. Again, hold down the skin and just scrape the, the part that's in the middle. We are not going to be using the skin. All we're going to be doing is using this uh, pulp of the uh, eggplant. Got that out. And as you can see, it's a clean extraction. Uh, sometimes if you're roasting it on a fire pit, uh, you might have to run it under a cold tap to get the burnt part out but this is out and as you can see from that whole eggplant only this much came out which is nothing that's why we use two of them uh, another pro tip uh, do one eggplant at a time that way the other one is going to be in the oven it's going to be staying hot and again similar to before cut the top off take the knife run it down the middle it's going to be like running a knife through butter or a hot knife through butter take your tongs lift up the skin and start removing the inner parts of it 
there you go it literally will just flow, uh, fall right off and you can take this skin and toss it in the compost it will decompose it's good for the environment uh, rather than tossing it in a landfill just put it in a compost bin and you can use that so now that is done i'm going to do the other side all right the other side is done now all you have to do is take a knife and cut it into three pieces and again the cutting part is going to be extremely easy be extremely careful if your hands are delicate or sensitive you don't want to burn yourself and as you can see all this liquid has come out and that is the one that's going to be going in our mixture so cut that off cut it into three equal pieces that with the strands are a little bit more universal and use young eggplants don't use the big ones because the big ones tend to have more seeds you don't want seeds in your mouth uh, if you have a little bit of a seed pod you can take that off i prefer it that way honestly so it's up to you and if you have any extra skin uh don't worry it's edible but take it out and now back to the mixture as you can see it has released a lot of water and we have added uh, the eggplant to it and we are folding it in over itself the reason why we are doing that is that way any extra flavor or any extra bits that are delicious on the bottom will get mixed up and yeah the water seems to be a lot right now uh, but no it's not just stir it up put it uh, back on high heat for about two minutes and keep on stirring it up uh, and rotating it in between and the water is going to evaporate absolute worst case scenario if the water quantity is too high you can just add in a little bit of potato starch or diluted cornstarch that's going to thicken the entire thing and one pro tip check the salt and spices right now the flavor is good perfect leave it alone if it's not add it to your flavor uh, profile add it to your liking and as you can see on the bottom it's hot that's this is going to cause the water to evaporate it's scraped on the sides and let's cover it up and also if you like it to be a little bit more dhaba style uh, if you want to call it that or if you want that char flavor uh, that is missing because you're cooking it in the oven uh, all you have to do is uh, take a liquid smoke put it at about a spoon towards the end uh, make sure to check the ingredients the ingredients is this is water hickory smoke that is it it's all vegan it's all vegetarian just shake it up some of them can be strong some of them cannot be too strong so according to your flavor profile just add a little bit of it if you like add a little bit more if you are into that smoky flavor once that is done mix it up and if you only had smell a youtube it will be it smells delicious just cut the heat off as you can see it has started to evaporate cut the heat off and oh my god it smells amazing you can serve it with a paratha preferably or a chapati or a puri do not serve it with rice uh, as a main dish because yeah no not going to work all right uh, we're going to let it cool once it's done cooling we're going to be garnishing it uh, with a little bit of coriander and we're going to be serving it uh, with some paratha uh, as always people like comment subscribe and i will see you guys and girls on the next one later people bye